And one such challenge comes from uh, China, China's investment in air infrastructure at the border. Uh, Achieve since 2020 after the Galwan Valley clash, both India and China have engaged in a border standoff. It's well publicized. We've reached a point of intractability in some sectors. Now, according to a report by Center for Strategic and International Studies, the CSIS, the Chinese have newly constructed or upgraded at least 37 airports and heliports within Tibet and Xinjiang region since 2017. And this is easily verifiable. Also, the PLAAF has uh, increased its deployment of aerial assets near the border. How is the Indian Air Force uh, boosting its own aerial capacity capabilities and capacities to meet this challenge? Let me begin by assuring you that uh, we are always on 24-7 readiness to take on any challenge. We are fully aware of uh, the developments that are taking place across our northern borders. We keep uh, you know, uh, regular surveillance over what is happening there. And our uh, acquisition and our deployment philosophy is always based to counter such kind of threats that are likely to emerge from there. Uh, after the Galwan crisis in um, 2020, our primary aim was to enhance our surveillance in that area to actually see what is happening across the border. So we had to deploy a large number of uh, radars of all sizes in that area. Uh, we had to bolster it by deploying surface-to-air guided weapons. We had to redeploy our fighter aircraft which were some of them were based in the uh, interior of the country. We had to move them up north. So we had taken all measures to ensure that our presence was felt and it was in deterrence to the uh, adversary. Uh, the primary issue that hit us at that time was maintaining a steady logistics chain in such kind of an environment. So this we overcame by having a good kind of fuel bridging good understanding with uh, the army and the other paramilitary forces which are deployed there in terms of uh, kitting and rations and so on, creating habitats for our people. Uh, another big challenge was that um, very few of our uh, air warriors had ever been deployed at such high altitude for such prolonged durations. So acclimatization of our personnel was also a huge challenge. And uh, that time in 2020, uh, we were really skeptical about how we would overcome the harsh winters. But now three years down the line, three winters down the line, I think we have created adequate infrastructure. We have um, ensured logistic supplies are available and um, adequate deployment of all our assets are there to have a credible deterrence in that area. Are we up to the levels that we need to be to counter a Chinese threat at the border? That's a very uh, difficult question to answer straightforward, yes or no, because um, there are many variables in that, but suffice it to say that, yes, we are continuously upgrading our capability and um, changing our tactics and techniques and procedures to be able to handle the threat. Is there a gap? And uh, if there is, how much? Uh, like I said, I cannot really quantify the gap, but the gaps will always remain. Wherever there's a gap in technology, we overcome it with better tactics. Wherever there is a gap in numbers, we overcome it with better technology and so on. So there is always a counter to something that is happening across.